What's happening out there guys? It's Real Easy here and I'm back with yet another solo money glitch video for you guys. This one is pretty easy but there are some complications that definitely plagued me in the beginning of doing this glitch but I have figured out what I was doing wrong and I'm gonna go over it with you guys alright so it's easy it can be quick there's a few requirements but if you follow my lead I will show you exactly what you need to do and what not to do all right so founders are Tuta Facile France Unfazed Gaming and Obese Giraffe now what you're gonna need for this glitch you need a facility you want it to be full of RH8s all right just fill it up to the brink with RH8 so you can get a full alert when you're outside you need a retro custom and you also need custom plates on it obviously you can dupe any Benny's vehicle but only dupe Benny's vehicles and have a custom plate on it that's very very important you need custom plates for this glitch we're gonna be using a streetcar at some point you also need a jerry can, which you saw me buy right there, and a Pegasus vehicle. Now, when I say a Pegasus vehicle, I recommend something like the Mule or the Cargo Bob. Okay, you're going to see right here. You see I have the Mule right there and the Cargo Bob. I'm going to use the Cargo Bob in this video, but you can use the Mule, and I'm going to show you where to actually buy that here in a second. Now, also, you we're going to be using a CEO vehicle, so you do need the, the ability to sign in as a CEO as well. Now, there's a few vehicles there that are free that you don't have to pay for, so that's good. We're going to be using one of those. And we also need the ability to sign in as a motorcycle club president. That's going to be at the very end so that we can actually create the dupe, okay? So right here, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and just get my cargo bob. If you have the mule, that's where you would be going to get right now. So I'm going to start flying over to my facility with my cargo bob. And I'm going to show you at this moment where you can actually buy the mule. It's much cheaper than the cargo bob. So go ahead and go open up your phone and go to the internet and go to the Warstock website, which is right there in the center of the screen. So scroll all the way down. I didn't know exactly where it was at first, but scroll all the way down. And then you'll see on the right hand side, the mule. All right. It's only $27,000. Not that expensive at all. Better than using the cargo bob if you don't have it already. Obviously, if you have the cargo bob, you can do the you can follow my steps exactly in the video. But the mule will work the same. OK, it's just a truck like this. It's just a box truck. That's all it is. All right. So once you have either your mule or your cargo bob, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and park it on top of your facility like you see me do right here you can have your interaction menu opened up right now it doesn't matter at this point too much it will matter later on getting into vehicles this is the most important tip I'm gonna give you but trust me open up opening up your interaction menu before you get into vehicles in this glitch is like the most important thing to get it to work all right and that's what kind of messed me up in the beginning so once you have either your mule or your cargo bob parked right there where you saw me do it I'm going to go ahead and get a streetcar. This is what you need to do. Just go and hop into a streetcar, preferably a low car, like a little sedan or something like that, you know, or even a coupe. You want to find something like this. Now, go ahead and go over to your yellow circle, and we're going to be going and getting the jerry can out. Now, don't actually enter the yellow circle or anything, but get your jerry can out. Make sure you don't run out of ammo on this, okay? Make sure you fill it up before you actually run out, or else you have to keep going back to ammunition. Now, you want to pour a bunch of gas right before the yellow circle, okay? And I mean a good amount, all right? Don't be, you know, it costs 100 bucks to refill this thing, okay? We're making a million dollars off of each dupe. So make a big line of gas, you know, away from it so that it'll lead to it. And then you want to pour more gas, like, around the car and even on top of the car, okay? This is very, very essential. Be generous, like I said, with this gas. All right, it's not expensive. You can keep refilling it. I, I suggest to refill it after every single dupe or right before you do the next one. So hop into the car, get out a pistol, and go ahead and shoot that gas trail. All right, go ahead and drive straight to the yellow circle. I recommend counting anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds, depending on where that gas trail started. All right, but 5 to 10 seconds seems to be good. Once you're sure you're on fire, accept that alert. You can hop out if you want to, you don't have to, and just open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. But you must accept that full alert, all right? You gotta accept that full alert. If you got sucked in, that means your car wasn't completely on fire, okay? So make sure your car is completely on fire before you actually accept the alert. So now that we accepted the alert, we took the easy way out, we're actually pretty good. So this is the most important tip right here. Do not, after this point, do not get into any vehicle, not one vehicle, without opening up your interaction menu first. That will ruin the glitch, and that's what kept happening to me. Uh, I was, I was going to post this last night, and that's actually what kept happening to me. Okay, so 
right now. Like I said, no vehicles without interaction menu open first. So look, interaction menu open right now. And what you saw me do is I signed in as a CEO and I went to CEO vehicles and I called up this BJ. All right. The BJ is a free vehicle. Okay. It's completely free. All right. So we're going to be using this one. All right. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and back this up over to either the cargo bob or the mule whichever one you have and we're going to be wedging our retro in the middle here okay so you want to make sure you you push it in there and like all right so back it up to where you know the size of the retro can actually fit right there and those doors will be wedged go ahead and hop out and then you can go ahead and close your interaction menu now and open up your phone and call out your you know call for your mechanic and ask him to bring your lg retro custom or whatever benny's vehicle you're duplicating really but it has to have a custom plate on it that is essential it must have a custom plate so what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna wait all right just wait for your lg retro custom to spawn in sometimes i need to keep looking back over at this area so that my bj won't actually you know despawn okay that will the ceo vehicle will despawn sometimes Okay, so look, LG Retro Custom, what you want to do is retire as a CEO, sign in as an MC president, and then open up your interaction menu, and then go ahead and get into the car, okay? That's how you want to do it. Now, look back, make sure that your CEO vehicle didn't despawn. Sometimes it does despawn when you sign in as an MC president, okay? So now, what you want to do is go ahead and drive the Retro over here into the, you know, both vehicles, and you want to make sure the doors are wedged and that you can teleport in and out of the vehicle just like that by pressing Y or triangle. So you see how I can do that? That's exactly what you want. With the interaction menu still open, click on the MC menu and you see how it says return vehicle to storage. We're going to be teleporting into the car kind of like we do when we're driving in the facility, okay, on the yellow circle and we got to teleport in into the car. So as you guys know, on PlayStation, we're going to be pressing X and triangle on Xbox. We're going to be pressing A and Y at the same exact time. OK, it's not hard whatsoever. Press them at the same time. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. So I press them at the same time. Simply back up and then you got the full alert. Accept it. And there you go. You actually just made a dupe. All right. That last part is very essential. Now, for those of you that aren't getting an alert when you back up that's because you didn't open up your interaction menu before you went into one of the vehicles okay that is what i'm telling you i kept messing up on that i would do everything perfect and i wasn't getting the full alert at the end that's because i kept hopping hopping into vehicles without having the interaction menu open that is the biggest biggest tip that you need to know about this glitch okay if you get into any vehicle without the interaction menu open first it will not work and you have to start from the beginning so once we spawn in the facility, remember I said fill it up with RH8s. I have a bunch of Sanchez's. Same thing. You just need to fill it up with something that you don't mind overriding. So I just overwrote one of the Sanchez's right here. And there we go. You see that? So just like all the other glitches that we're doing with the facility, like the gift cards to friends and all that stuff, as you can see, I have my custom plate on there because this is a custom plates glitch, right? If you don't have custom plates, you're going to make dirty dupes. And if you sell those, uh, you're going to get dupe detected. Simple as that. But yeah, you're gonna see me drive out right here. So when I drive out, it kicks me out of the car and then the car is actually bricked. It will not let me get back in the car. It says you do not have access to this personal vehicle, even though it's mine, all right? I just got it. That's how the facility glitches work. So what you need to do is uh, press pause and go to swap character and swap to your second character and back to your first. And uh, then you'll have access to the cars. You can do that at the very end though. You don't have to do that, you know, at this point, all right? But uh, the other way to do it is to turn off your game, but you don't need to do that, okay? So, well, what I'm showing you right here is actually a fail. Now, you see, I opened up my interaction menu before I got into my CEO vehicle, so that was actually pretty good. But I'm going to fail because when I go to my retro, you're going to see that I actually don't. And this is going to happen to a lot of you. I promise you it will. There's going to be some people that are just going to overlook that little fact because it's such a minute detail. And usually in glitches, that's not a very important thing. You know, I've never really had to uh, encounter problems with, you know, opening up the interaction menu before getting into a vehicle as like a thing that would ruin the glitch after. But it really does. Okay. So I've done everything right. The CEO vehicle, I had the interaction menu open before I entered that one. But this is where I screw up right here. Okay, so I'm calling up my LG Retro Custom, and this is the mistake that a lot of you guys are gonna make. I already know it. I'm gonna see it in the comment section. I'm not getting the full alert. This is why you're not gonna be getting the full alert, okay? So 
as normal, I was doing the glitch. I had already hit it the first time, and then I'm running over to my LG Retro Custom. I'm going to make sure I sign in as an MC president, and then I'm just going to hop into the vehicle. But watch. When I go ahead and hop into the vehicle, you see I'm going to retire as a CEO. I'm going to sign in as an MC, and I was like excited, ready to do the glitch, and I went to go hop in right away. Look at that. I hopped in the vehicle without opening up my interaction menu, and then I realized it right there. I was like, oh, man. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm going to still try it. Hopefully, it still works. So I decided, like, maybe if I get out of the vehicle or something, you know, or uh, close the interaction menu, open it back up, something like that, you know, it, it might still work. It doesn't, guys. Once you get, in, get into a vehicle without the interaction menu open, you're done. Just restart the glitch. Don't even try. You're wasting your time. So I'm just going to show you the uh, the end result and what you guys are going to go through. So you see right here, I'm going to try to actually teleport. That will happen sometimes. That means that you're not fully in position. Just rearrange or refit the car so that, you know, the doors are properly wedged. So right there, perfect. So you see, I'm going to do the uh, the normal teleport thing that we were doing before. A and Y at the same time, X and triangle. And look, see when I back up to the yellow circle, no alert. That's because I got into that vehicle without the interaction menu open. That's a lesson learned, guys. Do not do what I did right there. So that's going to be it for me, guys. My name's Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely learned something. Make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red button. If you're new, turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. We just hit 23,000. Thank you so much, guys, and peace out.